naturally the stick flips around and I can still have full use of the throttle control. Hello ladies and gents. Today I'm going to do a video about my new home sim cockpit that I made partially DIY and partially store bought. I'd firstly like to start off by saying thank you very much for the support I've had from my previous videos. All the comments and all the feedback has been really great bar one or two. So starting off the video today, the inspiration came from some of the comments I had such as no serious flight sim uses desktop suction cups anymore. Spend 80 quid or $80, get yourself some desk mounts. Have you had any luck with mounting the HOTAS and give me some brands that I can use to mount the HOTAS on my desk? First thing I did, I went on the Win Win store and I had a look at the accessories that they have to offer. And they have three types of mounts. They have the Gemini, the Super Taurus and the Super Libra. This one is available, but it mounts onto the desk. I'm not too sure about that. So the other one is the Gemini mount and the Gemini mount says only suitable for Gemin base install chair. I think that means Gemini. Regardless of this, you still have to import them and wait a long time for them. So I'm not too hot on that. Then I went over to the Monster Tech website and I had a look at the desk mounts I had available and they have ones available for pretty much every joystick you can think of. You can get the Thrustmaster, you can get Logitech and you can get VPC, VKB and all the Orion, Win Win Orion ones as well. And you can have a little choose between silver and black and they look fantastic. They look really well built. However, they are again on your desk and they're going to obstruct day-to-day -day use such as normal gaming or just normal desktop use because they're just always going to be there unless you take them off which is an absolute faff so i wasn't too keen on that and then i went over to this page which was the monster tech chair mount now this looks a lot more interesting and you can also again choose all the systems that you need all the hotel systems that are on there and you can choose between the different ones and a color as well however it doesn't have all chairs. It's not widely compatible with all chairs available. It only gives you a few chairs that you can use. And that's all very well if you have those chairs, but I don't have that chair. So then a friend sent me a link and he wants to buy this. And this wanted to make me screen because they're charging 369 bucks for effectively what is some tubing and some bolts that goes in front of your chair. Now, I'm sure it works great and I'm sure it's brilliant, but that's a lot of money. I think what the problem is, is that it's because it's labeled Warthog or Hotas or Racing Wheel and that bumps up the price straight away. So I went on Amazon and I had a little look again at some Hotas desk mounts, similar, similar story. They're either expensive or not available. And I also had a look at some chair mounts and there wasn't really anything there as well. So I had a look online at this. Now this is a keyboard laptop mouse stand, which is designed for you guessed it keyboard and mouse and what it does is it hooks to the bottom of your chair which is completely universal and it provides a stable platform and it also has a mouse pad that straps to your armrest and i thought well that kills a problem because i won't have to lean forward and use my mouse and i also thought that flat panel for the keyboard looks very interesting i wonder if my throttle quadrant will fit on it and it does my throttle quadrant which is the orion has suction cups on it so I thought I won't need to bolt anything to it. It will just sit nicely on there. So this is the in-flight cockpit that I have now and my desk. This is what I've mounted my throttle to. And the arms come down and hook onto the base of your chair. And they have different attachments depending on how, how thick the pole is on your chair. Every part of it is adjustable. So I can move this around and I can move this around and I can also swivel it on top. And then when I want to use it, what I've got to do is move it back, slide in, and you're good to go. Now the great thing is, is that once you're sitting down, because you can adjust the height of this panel, you can still use your armrest. So when I'm sitting in, in the right position, my arm is resting on the armrest and I can still have full use of the throttle control. I can still reach every button and just leave it there comfortably. And you can also tilt this around and it works perfectly. And you can see how far away I'm sitting from my desk so that my feet have excellent movement of the rudder pedals and you're not sitting up like this. 
you must be wondering where the stick goes because I used to have it up here but it's not anymore so this chair that I bought off of Amazon had a leg rest that was built into the chair so I took off the cushion and I replaced the cushion with this aluminium panel and I bought the aluminium panel from B&Q or you can get a panel from any hardware place or sheet metal workshop and what I did was I matched up the holes for where the cushion was and then I made four extra ones for my throttle mount. Now the clever thing about this is, is that because the cushion that was built into the chair and these black arms here, it was designed to flip around. So naturally the stick flips around and all I did was I screwed the right holes in the stick mount so it would match up and then I've trimmed the panel and painted it black just to protect it and that so it matches with the stick connected the wire made sure that it was the right way around and all you need to do is push it back a little bit and now you've got a leg mounted stick and it's great because when you put your legs out your legs not hitting the panel at all even though it might look obtrusive so now you've got your stick in, in between your legs your throttle will lay back and your seat is partially reclined with your screens or your VR whichever you want to use it when you want to use your desk normally because you've got the stick here you think no oh, normally it's you know in the way or between your legs all you gotta do fold it back round push it back in and you can use it as a normal chair now the stick obviously does hang upside down between the chair wheels however if you position the wheels correctly they won't rub against each other and there's a little bit of a clearance about an inch off of the floor there 